This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. The shrimp escape from the bottom of the side mount is one of the most basic jiu-jitsu techniques taught at every jiu-jitsu academy throughout the world. The problem is making the amount of space necessary to bring your knee across the belly. Framing underneath the opponent's chin is one of the most common and effective ways in order to achieve this space. The problem is getting your arm underneath the opponent's chin could be a challenging and daunting task. In this technique, I will demonstrate a very simple and effective way that I've learned in order to easily bring the arm underneath the opponent's neck. Once the arm is under the opponent's neck, you can utilize this frame to push the opponent away, making the space that you need in order to escape. I hope you enjoy this content and as always, thank you for watching. I just want to get the, 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 the basics down. Now generally, what we want to do is you can do it from here, but it's a little bit easier if you can bring the hand underneath the neck. We're going to bridge. We're going to move the hip away. We're going to bring the bottom knee in and then the top leg bites the back. So, now, I'm just holding my neck here. From here, I'm going to push away with my arm on the neck. This hand swings under, clearing my neck. Extend the body and pull your foot out. If your foot gets stuck, you shrink to the side of the foot, pull up the elbow, pull your foot out. Is it that easy? Easy, right? It's not that easy. The reason it's not that easy is you're usually hugging pretty tight. So the biggest problem, or one of the biggest problems, is bringing your hand underneath their neck. If I can bring this hand underneath the neck, it allows me to manipulate him in three different ways. One, I can push him that way by using my forearm to push him that way. Two, I can kind of push him up. And three, if my elbow goes high, I can push him that way over there. Do you understand the mechanics of what I'm doing here? So the angle of my form, whether it's this way, whether it's this way, or whether it's this way, will allow me to push them in three different directions. The problem is, is that people don't allow you to get this arm on the inside. Usually, their head is down, and they're hugging you snug, and it makes it difficult for you to bring this hand on the inside. So the first battle that we have to win is getting this hand on the inside. Now, if you try to get the hand on the inside any other way, it's difficult. Watch what I'm going to do. One, two. Simple. What am I doing? I'm bridging and extending him away. Now, which direction am I pushing? If I'm a clock, and this is 12 and this is 6, I want to push him about 8 o'clock. Somewhere over here. 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So as I turn on my side, I start pushing him that way. Now my elbow can, or my hand can easily come in front of his face. And here's what I don't want. I don't want your elbow to transfer. Because if the elbow transfers, now my elbow is stuck, he locks his hands, and now I'm going to get caught in a choke. So my elbow stays down. I don't lift my elbow up. My elbow stays down. I bridge and push to the side and simply my hand and forearm transfer in front of his face and now we come back home. Perfect. That's most of the battle. Right there. Now, in order for me to shrimp, I must turn on my side 
in order for my hip to move. But I can't do that when he's hugging me very tight. So I'm gonna use the forearm on his neck, I'm gonna raise my elbow, so look how my elbow is, is up near his ear here. I'm gonna bridge, and as I bridge, I'm coming up to my left shoulder. And I'm not gonna push his head down towards his spine, I'm gonna push his head over his hip over here. Over there, hold me tight. Now my hip can move away, and now my knee shoots and my upper, uh, is my other leg by tying his back. Now a lot of you guys will shoot the bottom knee through, but will not do this. The reason why you do both is if he starts to circle, circle around my leg, I can't keep up with him and eventually he repasses my leg. Following? So by doing this, as he circles, it gives me an anchor that maintains my angle so that I don't lose my angle here. Now, he's still holding my neck, so I'm, I'm still somewhat stuck. I need to make space for my arm. Now, I don't need as much space as you think because I'm not gonna try to get my elbow through here. I go around my elbow. My elbow goes around his chest. And it's not a big issue. If I still don't have enough space, I use my forearm on his neck to create a little bit of a gap so that my hand can go through. If he's still very tight, I'm going to frame, I'm going to grab my own wrist and make the extension. I'm going to hold him as my hand goes through. As my hand goes through, I immediately cuff the elbow as I extend the body away. I'm opening up this whole side of the body so I'm going to take the hand. Second hand there, boom, I'm back on the other. This is just the basics. Right? So what's the first battle? I'm here. What's the first battle i got to win? You gotta get the hand underneath the neck. Don't even try to get out so much until you can get this hand underneath the neck. The easiest way that I've, I've learned is to push the head south and transfer the hand. Now we can start to bridge. Now the power comes from my hips pushing. Say, shrimp, shoot, swim, extend, back to Question. Basic trips. Basic trips. I mean, this is as simple as it gets. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.